I just need you to shut up with these accusations you're making about Ivy. So you're going to risk our friendship over her? Look, it's not something I want to do. But I can't have you attacking her like this. Sam, she's a liar and she's a manipulator. Look, I told you not to talk about the mother of my son like that. Oh, yeah, Ethan, the son that you never knew you had until he was grown up because Ivy pretended that it was Julian's son? Sam, she lied to you. She used you. Then she dumped you to marry the Crane Millions. Why the hell are you being so blind? I'm not. Look, I know Ivy is not without fault. But she only married Julian because her father and Alistair Crane made a business deal, okay? And she was part of it. Do you see me? She was young. She was naive. And her father made her believe that Julian loved her and that I dumped her. Damn it, Sam. She is a gold digger. She was the governor's daughter. She didn't give a damn about the money. All right, Sam. If she loved you so much, then why didn't she marry you after she was pregnant with Ethan? Because she was afraid of her father. Afraid of Alistair. She didn't even know she was pregnant till she, till she went back to, to Julian out of fear. Sam, I can't believe that you're being so blindsided by this. All right, Louise had the CDs. CDs that prove that, that the Cranes did horrible things to the people in this town. How they used them, how he manipulated everybody. And I bet my life on it. I bet you that there was something on those CDs that was negative about Ivy. You don't know that. Oh, yeah, you're right. You know what? I don't know that, okay? But I wish I could have seen what was on those discs. So we would have opened your eyes to the schemes that Ivy has. I told you to stop talking about her like that. Sam. Damn it, Sam. You know that it's true. I know I love her. You love her. And I won't have you bad-mouthing her like that. How would you feel if I talked about Eve like that? You know what? Eve is not a conniving, two-timing bitch like Ivy. Hey, Eve, look. We, we, we have to find some way to stop Liz. We can't just roll over and play dead. We've got to fight back. As I said, Ivy, if you can think of a way to stop my sister, be my guest. I have not been able to come up with anything. Okay. All, all right. Well, I'm going to think of something. Well, I bet you will, Ivy. I mean, who better to deal with a blackmailer than you? <laughs> You're a master at that game. I would know. I just did what I had to do to get Sam back. Yeah, I know. And I have no doubt that you will find something vicious to do to Liz. If that's what it takes to keep her from blowing the lid off both of our lives, then that is what I will do. And you will thank me someday. Well, I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah, it has been a long day. Hey, amen to that. I guess I'm gonna, um, hit the rope. Well, um, you sure you don't want to stay for a cup of coffee or something? Uh, yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. How about you, Tilo? Want something to drink? I love my new nickname. <laughs> I think it was pretty clever of Chad to come up with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you like something to drink, Teresa? Yes, I would love a glass of milk, please. All right, coming up. I'm gonna give you a hand, okay? I know I did the right thing by uh, getting pregnant with Ethan's baby. He and Gwen still think that I'm carrying their embryo. They don't know that I had a miscarriage. So uh, all I have to do now is pray that my plan works to give this baby to Ethan and Gwen in exchange for my son. Flowers, Miss Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald. Fox. Surprise. <laughs> oh, dear. Dear, I hate this. I've lost reception. I have no idea what's going on. I can't see Kay anywhere. Last time I saw her, she was in canine mode with that wretched Faith was trying to stop her from killing Charity. Well, I got rid of Faith, but now I need to know what's happened to Kay. Kay, Kay, calling Kay. Come in, K9K. Come in, where are you? What the 
deuce has happened to the girl? I must have hit the dog with that piece of metal I threw. I hate that I had to hurt it, but it was trying to kill you. I know. We should definitely call the vet and have them put it out of its misery. All right, we will as soon as we find it. I think it's over there somewhere. God, it's Kay. I hit Kay with that piece of metal. Grace, we have loved each other so much in the past. Not just in this lifetime, but other lifetimes. Yes. But now. I know it. Do you remember? I'll just take some time with you. You remember how much you love me. I love you too. So much. I'd yeah, like to die a happy man if I knew I had your love. Andrew, you know I'm special. Oh, listen not to your father or to Andrew. Just listen to your heart. Surely I know it speaks to me. Feverish. Mm. I'm gonna go outside and see if Antonio's still looking for me. Mm. Please, I have to get you help. Antonio can help us get back to the mainland and get you to a doctor. No, oh, please don't leave me. Okay, Antonio. Who cares? I'll die a happy man if I just know you love me. Sharon, I've never stopped loving you. And even when everyone said that you were dead, and when everyone said just back off and give you some space. I know. At least you told me. I need to remember. I need to remember how much we love each other. I can't believe we found this. Sure. I gave this to you centuries ago. It survived. We survived. It's a miracle. Hank, shine the light higher up above the beach there. Remember there used to be caves up there somewhere. Supposedly it's where pirates used to hide their treasure. I remember those caves, too. My dad used to bring us out here when we were kids. We used to look for treasure, too, but we never found anything. Though. Nope. I don't think we're going to find Sheridan, either. Why don't we just come back when it's light? I told you, I am not giving up until I find her. The police took her against her will. Now, she's coming back with me where she belongs. She doesn't have a heartbeat. I'll call an ambulance. Hi, um, there's been a medical emergency. We need an ambulance. Uh, there's a girl. She's been hurt. She's, she's bleeding very badly. No, not a gun. Um, some kind of piece of metal. Between Harmony and Castleton near Old Road, near the cliffs. Please hurry. Oh, my God. What have I done? If I've killed Kay, I'll never be able to forgive myself. So, what did I do to deserve this? Well, I think you deserve to have beautiful things every day, Teresa. Don't you know that by now? That's very sweet. But, um, come on. Tell me why you did this. Okay. Mm. Uh, you know, well, I, you seem kind of down lately, to tell you the truth. Um, not that you don't have good reason. I mean, with everything that Rebecca's done to you. 
Causing you to lose your job, causing your mother to lose your family home. Forcing Ethan and Glenn to adopt your son, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working on feeling better about that, though. Oh, really? Yes. How's that exactly? Um, I just know that one of these days that I'm gonna get my son back, that's all. Well, you see there? The power of positive thinking, it's great, I love it. <laughs> well, you know, now you're sitting around crying about it, right? Right. So, are you sure that's it? Nothing else? I mean, you're not, um, you know, mad at me or anything? What are you thinking about? I'm uh, not thinking about nothing, actually. Nothing? Come on. Hey, come on. I'm not blind. I can see that there's something wrong with you. Is this something that I did? Hey, Teresa, come on. Tell me. What did I do? Whoa. <laughs> How many cups are you making? Huh? Oh. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. What's going on, Whitney? I could tell when something's bothering you. No, no, it's nothing. I'm good. Are you sure? Because I know you pretty well, you know. Why don't you just tell me what's got you upset? I mean, is it your mom? Are you still suspicious that she's having an affair with Julian? Well, she's definitely having an affair with Julian. But, you know, that's not even what I'm worried about. My mom can obviously take care of herself. Okay, then what? It's my father I'm worried about, Chad. You know, he's a good man. He, he's a trusting man. And he absolutely has blinders on when it comes to my mom. He's so naive when it comes to her. And when he finds out what she's truly like, how she's been deceiving him, he's going to be completely crushed. Oh, my God! Oh, oh. Sydney, are you crazy? What are you doing? doing? Stop! Oh. What are you doing? Are you damn Stop it! What oh, are you fighting? about you guys have been friends forever what could possibly make you come to blows what is going on in here go ahead sam tell him tell him what we're fighting about you are my passion for life how is she is she all right her vital signs are very weak we have a female, approximately 20 years old, in shock, loss of blood, open wound to the abdomen. BP is 90 over 50. Is she going to make it? We'll do what we can. You're bleeding. Let me take a look at you. No, no, I'm all right. Just please take care of her. We need to get her to the ER as soon as possible. You want to move back? Give the paramedics a chance to work? Marty, go ahead and uh, secure that crime scene. A crime scene? Unless that girl stabbed herself, it's a crime scene. Did uh, either one of you see what happened here? It was an accident. How'd it happen? I mean, what were you all doing out here? This house is nothing but a shell. Yeah, well, I used to live here, and I came to speak to my mother. She died in this fire. Talk to your dead mother? Yeah, sometimes. Actually, I, I had this bad feeling that Charity was in trouble, so I came out here to find her. And when I got here, she was being attacked by this vicious dog. As the dog was running away, I, I threw this metal rod at it. I didn't see what happened, but I guess it hit Kay by mistake. I and mean, I didn't even know Kay was out here. What happened to the dog? I don't know. I guess I scared it off. I feel terrible, officer. I mean, Kay's the mother of my child. That's her name? Kay? Kay what? Kay Bennett. Kay Bennett? Police Chief Sam Bennett's daughter. Yes, sir. And who are you? This is my girlfriend, Charity. I'm Sam's niece, and I'm Kay's cousin. And can we go with Kay to the hospital? Yeah, go ahead. You better hope she pulls through. What are you saying, that she could die? Let's hope not. But if she does, your boyfriend here could be charged with manslaughter. Oh, my devil, Kay's being hurt. They're taking her to the hospital. They can't do that. She's my only ally in harmony. She can't die. Oh, oh this 
wasn't supposed to happen like this. Kay was supposed to kill Charity, not be killed herself. <gasps> oh, there and Dora. Oh, I know, my little witchling, you're teething so terribly. You just be happy with the troubles you've got. You certainly don't want any of mine. They can't be far ahead of us. We were only minutes behind them when we left the harbor. Yeah, but we have no idea where they were headed. They could be on any one of those islands. You know, there are a lot of them. Maybe Luis is still looking for a place to hide. Yeah, there's miles and miles of coastline. No telling where they're at by now. I'll tell you something, Hank. I'm not giving up. It's the last thing I do. I'm going to find them. Police kidnapped my wife. And he's going to pay for it because I'm going to kill him. for you. Yes, you did. I love you. I know that you love me. I do. Oh, I do. But we're destined to spend our lives together. Are we? We are. Although, uh, I cannot give you the grand palatial lifestyle that Andrew would afford. Oh, I do not care about that. I've always dreamt of a life full of adventure. I'm tired of being coddled. I knew it. I could see it in your eyes. I could see in your eyes that you were the man to give me that sort of life. A life of adventure, travel, romance. Oh, I am. We shall sail the seven seas on my ship. We'll see the world. We'll make love under the stars. All night. Every night. Oh, Harry. I cannot wait. Oh. Well, let's not waste another moment. Are you ready to start our adventure together? I am. Mm. Oh. Stop right there. Unhand this woman, you thieving pirate, and prepare to die. You sure you have enough men to do the job, sir? Stand back. I'll take care of this outlaw on my own. Before, pirate, but you'd have been smart to get away on the next ship. Now you don't have a second chance. Andrew, please do not do this. Hey, 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 no, 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 hey, don't cry. Come on, Teresa, no, tell me what I did. I swear I'll make it up to you. No, you know what? You, you. You haven't done anything, Fox. Um, you've been really sweet. You've been, you've been just wonderful to me. You know, you're sneaking me in the mansion to see my son, and then, you know, always standing by me and you've been defending me all the time. And now you're bringing these flowers. <laughs> okay, hey, hey, Teresa, listen. If it's not me, what is it? Just tell me. Fox, it's me. Okay, it's me. What does this have to do with you? Is Teresa crying? Sure sounds like it. Hey, what's going on? Well, I, I don't know. There's something wrong with her. She won't tell me what it is. Okay, well, well um, why don't I talk to her for a few minutes? Is that okay? 
Yeah, I, I, I'd like to talk to Whitney. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thanks. Fox and I will go finish making the coffee. Okay, thank you. terrible person and you know what Gwen's right I'm a bitch <laughs> well somebody gonna tell us what happened why are you fighting will you please explain this Sam let her go Ivy no no Sam I'll tell him Ivy my wife and I we don't like you TC shut your mouth no I'm not gonna shut my mouth should have said this a long time ago we resent the way you just moved in here Grace wasn't even gone five minutes, and you just swooped in trying to be the lady of the house. Grace abandoned Sam, if you remember. She's off in Europe with her first husband, and I didn't just swoop in here like a vulture. I, I've been staying here trying to help him take care of the house and the children and his grandchild. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. You're, you're trying to help, all right? You're trying to help yourself to Sam. That's what you're trying to do. TC, don't do this. No, Sam. You, I can't believe that she's doing this to you. This woman has you so duped. She tells you anything and you just believe her lies. Listen, shut your mouth or I'll duck you this time and I mean it. Yeah, come on. No, no. See, honey, that's what we were fighting about. Oh, Sam. You were defending me? <laughs> oh, Sam. See, that's what I'm talking about. Playing this whole helpless role here. You, yeah, you snake. Honey, please. This, this is not the time, okay? And this is none of your damn business. You know what? When my best friend is being made a fool of, I make it my business. How am I being made a fool? I just feel it in my gut, all right? Ivy orchestrated this whole thing. I think Rebecca was right. I think you somehow, some way, got David to come back to Harmony. Grace's long lost husband. Give me a break. That's ridiculous. TC, you know, we already went over all of this when David came back to town. He had a legitimate marriage license and. The DNA test showed that John was Grace and David's son. Sweetheart, something's going on here. Something's not right. Something is very fishy here. There is nothing fishy about this. You know what, Ivy? For someone who doesn't have anything to hide, you sure do protest a lot. <gasps> Chief Bennett. I'm so glad you're there. Charity. What's going on? You have to come to the hospital. It's Kay. Kay? What's wrong? Huh? What happened? She's been hurt. There's been an accident. I think you should come as quickly as you can. I'm on my way. That was the emergency room. They need me at the hospital. That's yeah, Kay. Charity just called to tell me. What happened? Is she all right? I, I don't know. Look, I'll come with you. Okay. I'll, I'll go, too. I... No, no, no. Look, stay here, okay? Jessica's upstairs sleeping. All right. Uh, sure, of course. Okay. Of course. Yeah, I'll be back. I'll let you know what's going on. Yeah, sweetheart, I'll be at home. Just, just let me know how she's doing. Okay. This ain't over, Ivy. brought all this on. Look at this. Fox brought me some pretty good looking flowers, huh? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're really beautiful. I don't deserve them, Whitney. Why do you say that? Because of what I've done. You know? Fox is and nothing but help me. Uh, he defends me to Gwen and Rebecca. He helps me see my son. He's just so wonderful to me, and I've just treated him like dirt. Well, oh, that's not true. Yeah, it is. I was disloyal, unfaithful. I betrayed him with me. Oh, you slept with Ethan. So, yeah, I mean, you did. You betrayed Fox. I do feel... 
terrible about that. I can certainly understand why. Yeah. Yeah, I know that you, uh, you think I'm a horrible person for doing what I did. Well, Teresa, come on. I mean, you drugged Ethan to get him to sleep with you so that you could get pregnant with his child, and you betrayed Fox, a man who truly cares about you. So, yeah, I mean, I do disagree with what you did. You know, maybe what I did was wrong. But it was the only way I could think of to get my son back. Yeah, but, Teresa, the ends don't justify the means. I'm just trying to be a good mother, Whitney. You know, I just... I don't think that I would be a good mother if I didn't do everything in my power to get my child back. I don't care how dirty I had to play. Okay. So why all the tears, then? Because I, I feel guilty. I feel guilty about Fox. And he's just... He's so good to me, you know? Oh, he, he would, he would, he would die if he found out that I slept with his half-brother. Well, I doubt that. But I do think you need to tell him the truth. No, no, I can't, because he would, he'd hate me. Maybe, you know, and, and you know what? Maybe he would break up with you. But I think there's a chance you're going to have to take. I mean, if you really have true feelings for Fox and you're going to have a future together, then you have to be honest with him. And you know what happens every time you try to keep secrets. It always comes back to bite you, right? Yeah. Okay, so let, let, let's just say that I do tell Fox, all right? And then he tells me that, that he thinks that Ethan and Gwen should know. Well, I can't let that happen with me because I cannot risk losing my son forever. Okay, so you're just going to go on letting Fox think that you're pregnant with Ethan and Gwen's child because of the implantation. You're going to go on letting Fox think that you return his feelings for you, even though you drugged Ethan and seduced him. And do not tell me you didn't like every minute of it. No, just, I, I didn't love it. Teresa, yes, you did. Don't lie to me, honey. I know you far too well. <laughs> and I know how much you've loved Ethan. You had to be affected making love to him. Yeah. You're right. You're right. I, um, I tried to fight it, but, uh, all my feelings for Ethan came back. And I hate myself for being so weak. I don't want to love Ethan. I want to be with Fox. But I have these feelings for Ethan. So, um, I don't know. Just tell me how I go on like this. Honey, I don't think you can. You have to tell Fox the truth. Okay. Let's do it. Yes. Okay. Um. Can you go in there and can you, um, just, uh, tell him to come out here so I can talk to him? Yeah. And trust me, honey. You're doing the right thing. Okay? Kate Bennett was brought in. Where is she? She's in one. Thank you. No, Eve, Sam, Eve, Sam. Eve, no way. I gotta see my daughter. Sam, wait. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, Sam, no. You, you wait outside, Sam. I will let you know when I assess her condition. Out, Sam, out. I'll let you know. What happened? Tell him that Miguel tried to kill his daughter. No! no. Andrew! Please, don't do this. Please, I'm begging you. 
Patience, please. Don't debase yourself by defending this common criminal. I love him. You what? I said I love him. I can't live without him. Kill me if you must, but do not kill him. You love him? This, this black-hearted thief? Him? Yes. Yes, I do. I love him with all of my heart. All right, then. Fine, fine. Go away with your pirate. I never want to see your face again. Left my keys here somewhere. I haven't seen them. And why are you staring at me like that? Because I enjoy making you feel so uncomfortable. You don't. Oh, sure I do. See, Sam thinks that you're this sweet, innocent girl that he knew over 25 years ago. But I think you're just the opposite. You're slimy, Ivy, and you can't be trusted. Look, TC, I know that you are Sam's friend, but he loves me. <laughs> he may think he loves you, but when he finds out what you're up to, it's going to be a different story. I am not up to anything. I just want Sam to be happy. You know what, Ivy? I am going to keep my eye on you. If you make one wrong move, I'm going to be all over you. You got me, Poison Ivy? All over you. Russell, you self-righteous moron. Do you think I'm slimy? Just wait till you find out that your wife, the woman you're married to, was Julian's drugged out whore. You'll be sorry you went after me. Oh. TC? Okay, you two, let's get you into the stroller. We have to go to the hospital. I have to find a way to help Kay defeat Charity. Let's just hope there's still time. Her bottles are dropping. Call OR. Tell them we're coming up to operate immediately. Okay. I still don't know what happened. It was an accident. An accident? What the hell do you mean an accident? What'd you do? Just land on the thing? No, sir. Um, Chief Bennett, I feel terrible. But um, I threw it and it hit Kay. You threw it? Are you trying to kill my daughter? No. <laughs> You said you had something to tell me? Uh, yes. Um, could you come here, please? And sit with me? Yeah. Of course. <sighs> this looks pretty serious. <sighs> yeah, it is. <laughs> this is kind of hard. Okay. But, uh... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you because, uh... I should have been honest from the beginning. Honest about what? <sighs> about what I've done. I'm uh, always getting myself into trouble for not telling the truth, so... I'm gonna stop that right now and tell you. I need to make a confession. Look, how long do you intend to keep this up? As long as it takes to find Sheridan. Kill Luis. Do you mean it? You let us both go? Yes. Of course I do. I will not force you to stay and be my wife. I must have mistook your 
kindness for genuine affection. No. Andrew, I do feel genuine affection for you. I do love you, but not the way a wife should love her husband. I love you as a friend. As a brother. Harry is the one that I want to spend my life with. All right, fine. Go then. I never want to see your face again. Let's go start our lives together. Over my dead body.